Hey guys, especially all you Mopar folks and Chevrolet folks out there, I've got a, I've got a question for you. I'd like to run this by you. I, I know it's true, but I can't prove it. I don't know the word for it, but let me tell you a little bit what we got. That is a, a 225 slant six in this old Dodge Miser that I used to drive back in the day. Now this is exactly the way that I've got it. It came with uh, the Clifford four barrel intake. It had the headers and the, uh, just like you see it here. Let, let me tell you a little bit about the story of this engine to where you'll know. When I was uh, in a high school, I worked for a company in Hiawassee that moved in called Trick Racing Engines. And uh, I was just a high schooler. I was a senior in high school when I worked there and I worked there about three or four years. But during that time, there was a guy that went to work there called Tex Triggs out of Florida. Tex actually worked directly with Smokely Unix back in the day. He's worked with Smokely Unix and used to tell us all kinds of stories. This engine that's in this truck, I got from Tex Triggs who worked for Smokely Unix. Uh, the motor in this truck was so wore out back when I was driving it. It's an old miser truck that uh, you'd have to roll it off to get it to crank because the compression was so low. And Tex is like, I, Tex said, I have an engine that was actually built by Smokey Units that he gave me and I'll bring it and I'll give it to you. And uh, this was back when, you know, before everybody was so involved with all the muscle cars and all that stuff. And Smokey Units was just a race car driver. Uh, this had to be you know i guess i'm 54 years old so you can figure that out but uh anyway he brought this engine up we jerked the 225 slant six out of the miser truck slid this thing down it came just like this with the uh headers the split headers the clifford intake everything but the carburetor and uh we put that thing in in this truck and i drove it for a long long time the uh the transmission which was a three-speed overdrive give out and i dropped a four-speed down in it out, out of one of these old uh uh 440 cars we had up here that had a four speed in it uh the rear end went out of it not long after that and i ended up putting a uh, chunk top 355 down in this thing back uh went out so actually i mean it was a lot of fun to drive but it was a work truck this was not something we went out on saturday night i worked this thing out we put in telephone cable all over the country and it had a, a cable trailer on the back of it that stayed hooked up 90 percent of the time 95 percent of the time and uh but anyway, no air conditioning, had power steering and all that. It'd get on down the road for what it was. But actually, this engine, Tex Triggs, if anybody ever heard of Tex Triggs, he went on to, uh, after I left and then he left, he went on. He was involved when Chrysler went to ARCA, when Chrysler did the ARCA race, and he was involved in that. I remember that. And then kind of lost touch over the years. But uh, I don't know if this is something that y'all think I have totally lost my mind or not. But I'm telling you, Tex Triggs worked for Smoky Units. Smokey, give Tex this motor. He built this motor, and Tex told me all the stuff that was done to it. We're going to pull it out and go through it and see if we can find any telltale signs on it, but uh, and uh, just to see. But he told me some of the stuff that they'd done to it, and it's been so long ago, I cannot remember. But I'm telling you, from what I know, this 225 slant 6 that you're looking at right here was built by Smokey Units in Florida, and I got it from Tex Triggs. And I worked for Trick Racing Engines back in the day. They actually had the Kodak car there for a little while. And uh, But anyways, this is a, the Miser truck that I drove back in the day. These little old scoops I put on it that come off of one of the little old, uh, TC3 Horizons. And uh, But anyway, this was a work truck, and that's what we've done. I've actually worked it slap into the ground. But uh, anyway, just like, to, uh, just like to hear your take on that. See what you think. Put it in the comments.